Victor with Excited Atom Designs and I did get a request from a good friend Josh who wanted to know how I make my 3D renderings for my instructions for all of my designs. So I'm going to show you how to do that pretty easily today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new document from my OpenAI window. I'm going to make this uh, on, our, on our same board 20 by 12 Obviously, the finished product will be on an 8.5 by 11 page, but in Illustrator, I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. That way, I have everything in one place. So, I'm going to title this Instructions. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. Okay, so now I just have a window right now. Uh, my board is up. I'm not going to use my rulers. I don't need them because I'm actually going to be working with um, a file that I already created and I'm going to show you how I actually create these instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that file and I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, mission candle holder. So I'm going to open it up. All right, so what do I have? I have all the pieces for the mission candle holder. And what I want to do is I want to grab the pieces that are different. Obviously, Two of these are the same as two of these. So I want to go ahead and grab all the pieces that are different. All right, so that's going to be five pieces. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to go ahead and bring them into my other board. All right, for instructions, obviously I want this to be vertical. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate these. And by holding down shift and rotating them 90 degrees, there we go. All right, I'm going to move these off of the board doesn't matter where. I'm just going to move them over here for right now so I can have my base. Now, <clears throat> to create a three-dimensional design in Illustrator, it's kind of simple. So we're just going to go up under Effect. I'm going to go under 3D, and I'm going to pick Extrude and Bevel. As you can see, immediately it turns it into a 3D rendering. What I want to do is I want to make this, obviously, flat. So if I go up under position and I choose uh, isometric top, what it's going to do is flatten that out for me. All right. Now, extrude depth is the depth of the design. Now, to make it a little more realistic, I have figured out that eight points is about the size visually of a one eighth inch board. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. Plastic shading is fine. I'm not going to change anything over here because I want them all to be the same. I'm going to go ahead, bring this back in so you can see, and hit OK. All right, now, this would be great. Obviously, I don't, I am not going to render it this way because I want it to be more of a drawing. So what I can do is I can actually re release this by going up under Object, hit Expand Appearance, automatically it turns it into lines. So now what I want to do is I want to take my fill and I'm going to turn the fill to white. I'm going to go into my stroke and I'm going to add a one point stroke. Once I click out, you'll see that it still retains that three dimensional look, but it's now a drawing. Now I can do this with all these pieces. So I know that this side needs to fit in here. So what I want to do is I want to make this a left facing piece. So I go up under effect, come down to extrude and bevel. And I don't want it off axis. I want it isometric left. We're working in isometric right now. So I'm going to make it isometric left. As you can see, the lighting is dark. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're not really using that, but I'm going to go ahead and make an eight point. All right, now as you can see, you now you can see all the cutouts so that it basically renders it the way that it's created. If you have um, a piece that has uncut out pieces on it, it will render those in front of this. So you need to make sure that all of your pieces are actually cut out if you want to see through them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go up to Object. I'm going to expand the appearance again. I'm going to go ahead into the fill. I'm going to turn it white. 
go into the stroke and make it a one point stroke. All right, so now I have these two pieces. So in my instructions, you can see that this piece will now fit into here. I want two of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy. I'm gonna drag this one back. Now, if I drag this one up, you'll see that it's now in front of this one. Well, let's just bring this one forward. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command Shift and then my right bracket in order to send this one forward. If you hit the left bracket, it'll send it behind. Okay, so now there's two pieces. All right, so now we already know that this one's going to be a right leaning one. So go ahead and go up under Effect. Grab that extrude and bevel again, go up under, make it isometric right. Let's make that eight point. Hit OK. All right, again, we want this to be a drawing. So let's go up under object, expand appearance. Let's make this white. And let's change that stroke to one. All right, and let's drag this into place. And then let's bring it forward. We want it to be in front of everything. So we're going to hold down Command, Shift, well, Control if you're on a PC, Control, Shift, and then our right bracket. All right, now I want to make two of these. So I'm going to drag a copy. And the way I make copies is holding down the Option or Alt and Shift key and dragging it across. Let's put it behind here. Obviously, it needs to go back, holding down Command or Control and our left bracket, and it will send it behind everything. All right. Okay, we have two pieces left. So for this one, it doesn't matter where I put this because they all fit together. I just have to make sure one's left and one's right. So I'm going to go ahead and, again, Apply Extrude and Bevel. We're going to turn this one to the right one. Make this 8 point. Hit OK. Let's expand this. Grab that fill, make it white. Grab our lines. All right, good. Let's take this up here. We know it's going to be the last thing that goes together in this piece. And we'll make two copies. All right. All right, last piece. Again, these were the right leaning. This, these are going to be left. All right, let's go in. And we're going to apply extrude and bevel. Sorry, I was having a little problem with my mouse. We're going to make these isometric lefts. Again, eight point. Hit OK. Go up under object. Let's expand. Appearance, turn that fill white, turn that stroke to one, and this will be the last piece that we have for my instructions. All right, there, we have everything, and they're exactly at size. So now, in order to put them on a page, we want to shrink these down a little bit. So I'm going to grab all of them. Holding down Option or Alt and Shift, I'm going to drag into the center. And as you can see, it resizes everything at the same rate. When I set my instructions up, I tend to do them more IKEA-esque, where everything is in one image. But it kind of shows you how things go together. So what I want to do is I want to have these pieces aligning vertically in the way that they are going to go together. So I already know that these slots are going to fit into this piece and this piece is going to fit into here. So I'm going to set them up that way. All right. You don't have to be exact. I tend to be a little anal when it comes to my drawings. So I'm going to try and line this up a little better than I have it already. All right. We're going to drag that down a little bit. All right. Let's bring these pieces in. All right, these are the pieces that are going to fit in after we put these pieces in. And then these last pieces go on top. All right, let's drag that out a little bit so it doesn't look so weird. There we go. Then 
Now all you need to do is just add your instructions, add your arrows. I normally just go ahead and put like like down arrows on these pieces and that's pretty simple in here as well just by grabbing my segment tool and dragging a line down. Coming over to my stroke palette under my arrowheads this would be where you started this would be where you end. So I'm going to add one to the end doesn't matter which arrow you choose. There you have it. You can add arrows wherever you need. Um, this is pretty much how I do every single one of my drawings. Now in order to save this and to move it into InDesign, which is where I create my instructions, I just need to save this either as a PDF or an EPS. That way it retains uh, its small size. If I start making these larger and adding colors, I might think about making it a JPEG, but normally I'll just make it a vector file. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just let me know. It really is that simple to make three-dimensional drawings in Illustrator. Have a great night.